It's time for Boost, the interactive game show that brings the action to you. We're invading your favorite liming spot and throwing at you physical and mental challenges for cash prizes and other surprises. So be on the lookout and always be ready for launch. So welcome to another episode of Boost, the interactive game show that brings all the action to you. We've landed at the rig here in the Southland. Tonight, it's all about Southern hospitality, and we're about to see what South has to offer. And apparently, the rig is one of the best. So we're going to go inside, see what vibes, see what fun, see what giveaways we can do, and do what we do best, create a vibe, and just let everyone have fun. The rig is beautiful. It's just, it's sexy. And this is what Synergy, SRP, and Boost is all about. And as you can see, they have a whole, whole lot of sexy ladies here tonight. So we're gonna see if we get some people and just get some participants, so let's do this. Next up is the plastic pyramid, the inverted one. Participants are required to stack cups upon plates and other cups until they reach four. And the structure is supposed to stand atop for five seconds. Winner wins a prize. We have the young to the first meal with us. Princess Zell representing the key of our nice choir of 40 to your way. Still on here. Now we can spoil that. And guys, you guys, you all have to make some noise. Come on, come on, come on. Guys, you all have to make some noise. Yeah, what's your father's name? Isn't it? Ladies, I want you all to make some noise for this guy. It's not too much. His wife is the first. Both participants are off to a strong start. Kimberly, however, does a little bit of fumbling as she doesn't actually follow the rules, but she picks up over quickly. It looks like if Kimberly's taking the lead. She seems to have a take on this competition way better than Miguel. She takes a risky move, stacking cups upon each other. Oh, and the structure falls over. She screams slightly. Kimberly looks like she's ending the competition, but Miguel skillfully stacks his pyramid and it lasts for the five seconds. He wins the competition. Kimberly. We just like to say thank you on behalf of Synergy and Rig for participating. Unfortunately, I don't think you have enough alcohol, so uh, um, we, we'll try it back just now, right? Um, guys, you all could have volunteered somebody else better. Oh gosh, come on, man! All right, but we're coming across the table. Kimberly, thanks very much for your participation. All right, we have my boy here. All right, that, that that's your wife there, right? What was your wife's name? Keisha Fraser. Keisha Fraser. Keisha Fraser, you should be proud. He just won you at dinner for two. All right. Is it eight, year, eight years? All right. Congratulations, man. That's, that's, that's wonderful. I mean, on behalf of you, Rick, you won your dinner for two. Your wife and yourself. Courtesy Boost, Synergy, we thank you for participating, all right? Up next is the most underestimated challenge and it's called the Sticky Situation. Contestants just have to eat peanut butter and cricks. Four of them. Simple, right? Yes, Rick. We have second competition on this one. Basically, this is called Sticky Situation. They have to eat. It's all about speed. We have crisps and crunchy peanut butter. No water, no drinks, nothing like that. Alright? They're gonna have four each. 
Okay, and in a true show of unity, it's Jamaica versus Trinidad, you know, bonding over some hot cricks. Okay, first of all, Linksus, I didn't even realize you were here, but let's go back to the competition. It's not even 10 seconds and they're already struggling. Clearly, like I said, this is an underestimated challenge. I can't quite wrap my head around Skin's form. Jerome, on the other hand, is trying to choose best to get through the competition. From what I understand, Jerome is an expert in eating sada. He does so every day. But apparently, he could not be sada in this competition. Kim seems to be struggling a bit. Look at her mug. Look. I mean, they both seem to be struggling. This is ridiculous. It's, uh, oh, oh, there's some water, water coming oh, into the screen, no. and it's taken away. The competition rules clearly state that no water must be sipped or drank. Is that even a word before the competition is over? I'm not too sure, but the competition seems to be stiff right now. I can't tell who's the clear winner. Um, I mean, they're practically not going anywhere. They're both on their third peanut butter and crick sandwich or biscuit or whatever, and they're not moving. Like molasses on ice. And in this slow motion shot, you can see Jerome is really bringing that focus to the form. All Kim seems to be doing is smiling, 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 and chewing. But is she in the lead? I can't even tell. This is really, really a tight race. It's like, it's like Bolt versus Blake. The Jerome's eyes just roll back in his head. Oh, yeah, it looks because the countdown is on and Jerome has kicked it in high gear. He, Kim is trying her best to keep up. I think he's been visualizing Sada for the last 10 minutes. And the competition is over and it seems like Jerome is on top, but we don't know for sure. So when we come back, we'll definitely have the clear result. And this is beautiful, the sportsmanship and the friendliness links us. I gotta say this one competition should really be a Okay, viewers, and we're back with Jerome. He just won the Sticky Situation Challenge. Jerome, you have anything you want to say? Yeah, I want to pick up the whole Mirga crew, the whole Digo Martin crew, represent for the SRP crew. And you know we live in Atlanta and South right now. We in the rig, and we cost it with boost. Normal. All right, thanks, Jerome. But um, at any point in time, any competition, did you think that you know you can win? Yeah, the point when I thought I was going to die now because I was going to choke. So I thought I was going to win at that point, but um, yeah. I, I, at least I recover enough. All right, Kim, you know, I see you tried. You know, congrats to the I only lady. I beg me to let him win. He would tell me to deny if I let him win. So either way, it's a win-win. All right, well, it's a win-win. You know, get to see the unity between Jamaica and Trinidad. But um, Kim, how you find the competition was? What's stiff? What's stiff? Yeah. <laughs> Very. All right, you want to say um, good night to anybody? E not really. I don't really have much people to say. All right, um, this year in Jamaica, all right? Well, my mom, my sister, my family back home. All right, you heard that. Good night, mom and family back home from Kim.
This one is where you're part of the two. Courtesy ring. Now you know what that's? No, you have it. Alright. Y'all get ready? Let's go. Three. And with that replacement phase for the word go, we're into the competition and everyone has taken it to the head. Okay, this competition is a drunken baby and as you can see, there are no babies in this competition. But they sure are acting like them. Look, they don't even know how to handle the bottle. There's one in the middle there, she's struggling. Apparently there's a leak. We should have brought some bibs. Take a look at Kazni's form in the air there. He's not stopping for anything. Yeah, is he even stopping to take a breath? I think this guy breathes through his toes. I'm not too sure, but look at his form. The liquid is clearly dripping all over him, but he okay, we seem to, to we seem to be having some technical difficulties here. I think um, there's a there's a gentleman who goes by the name of Thaddeus who was instructed to get some napkins, and she uh, she's cleaning herself. Okay, poor Luan, poor poor poor. Luan. And and here we go. It, it looks like. Shalene, Shalene also is not stopping. We we haven't even taken a horn, but look look at that. She's looking down at her opponents, and she's not even sure. There's that Teddy guy I was telling you about. Oh, who just came on the right to the screen. Finally, the napkins have arrived. But Kesley doesn't seem to need them. He's just powering through the competition. The, count, the countdown is on, and this is and this is anybody's game. We have no idea who's gonna come out on top. And Kesley's kicking it into overdrive and all the competition. And that is it. Apparently, we I, I heard that we're gonna get a close up view of those three bottles to see who's the clear oh, we, winner. We really need a close up view because from here I can't really tell. Yeah, there's a guy's butt in the way. Oh, and let's see. Let's get it think, in focus. Let's, let's get it in, in focus. focus. Is it the oh, one and it's the oh. one on the left. Who is that? Sherry, I see here. I don't know what your husband is doing. Kesley, congrats on winning the competition, man. You have anything you want to say? Yeah, so I want to say um, uh, good being here at the rig and good uh, synergy giving this promotion, and we're glad to be here. All right. So, um, is your wife excited for the dinner for two? Of course, she is very glad. Um, is she happy? She's excited. <laughs> All right. So, when you came here tonight, you thought you'd have been part of anything like this? No way. Told me that just be a, a, a bystander, but we part of the promotion, so we very got happy. You know what I mean? All right, congrats again, Kesley. You want to say um, good night to anybody in particular? Um, no, not really. That's that's our friends and everything. You know what I mean? Everything good. You know what I mean? That's all. All right. Thanks again, Kesley. Don't stop, don't stop. 
Jason, I see it. you showed a tremendous pace there in the competition. You have anything you want to say? Well, just, well, just encourage everybody to come line by the rig, swimming, we in the bar, doing everything. I was going to be on the weekend, so that's when the place has to be the hottest, you know? Come and check us out. Like, keep the hype in the rig. Um, at any point in time, you thought that uh, you would have lost the competition? Not at all. Not at all. Very confident. Yes. Very confident. Somebody wet nose thing. <laughs> All right, then. Congrats again, Jason. Straight into the action, this is the second round of the Drunken Beat. And by popular demand, this challenge has had to come back. It's an interesting challenge, a short competition, only 45 seconds. Links up. If you take a careful look at the competitors, look at their form. Pinky's extended, held to the back, and they're going all the way. I gotta say, this is a very classy version of a drinking competition. With another twist, those are clearly baby bottles. This is kind of exciting, I must say. Listen to the crowd. They have a really, really strong support system and none of these ladies are stopping. It's Unlike the first round where we had some blunders, there are no mistakes in this competition. It's very smooth and very fierce. Honestly, I can't tell who's going to win because it's a close race right now. We'll have to wait and see. I, my friend on the end there to my right, she looks pretty excited. She's jumping up and down while the competition is going on and she just seems fearless and forward. To be quite honest, I'm not sure who to place my money on, but if I had to, I'd place my money on the competitor on the end. Which end? I mean the left or the right because the countdown is on and it still looks like anybody's game. I can't decide the pressure, the pressure, the pressure. Oh my, oh my goodness, goodness, and it's it's done. Are we going to get a close-up? Are we going to get some sort of CG? Uh, from here, we could tell. It's, it's a clear winner. Look at that. If Stefan moves out of the way, we okay, can easily see who won. So we're wrapping it up here at the rig, San Fernando. Southern hospitality has been crazy for the boost team. We have been welcomed with open arms. So right now we're wrapping it up. Look out for the next episode. New places, new games, endless vibe. So we say a special thanks to Lennox Electronics, Anthony Scissors Master. This is Boost, excitement, any and everywhere. SRP Synergy, we're out. I know even sure what I'm saying. The light blind in my eye, I can barely see. Kevin, where your face gone? Step on it, step on it in my
my shot. Tonight has been fun so far. What has been your favorite moment? Um, I'd have to think probably the uh, baby bottles, round two especially. You know, once we had the proper equipment, we can go anywhere. Hey, you never know where the Boost Squad will show up next. So for instant updates, follow us on Twitter at SRP Boost or like us on Facebook, facebookcom launch. You'll get the latest updates on where we are, where we're gonna head next, and probably, probably what challenges we're gonna get. But we'll probably not do that.